What's that? Yeah, I guess Solar Opposites on Hulu is really funny. <laughs> okay, thanks for asking. Hey, got another Xavier Croom video for you. If you uh, have been paying attention to the YouTube edits from last week, we had a little, um, a little run-in with some bandits. They stole his spectacles and kicked him in the testicles. Oh, 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 oh. He walloped me right in my testicles. And then has a bit of a discussion with a fellow doctor in the department about his uh, research project. One day, take the finer elements of the animal kingdom and and marry them to mankind, to morph them in a way to, to create xenomorphs. You've got that. And I just noticed a couple comments, you know, cause I keep talking about, hey, come to the come to the Twitch, see it live. And maybe people who are unfamiliar with Twitch, go see it. And I'm not live and they're like, wait, we have to, there's a, there's payment. What's, what's the deal here, chief? Uh, you can see it live for free. You may watch a few ads. There is a, a small paywall for the for the archive of videos as an incentive um so come see a live stream typically 1 p.m pacific monday through friday regardless i'll see you on the internet please enjoy this video please like subscribe comment please let me help you on just to give you a hand here there you go no wait i need you to send a telegram the next place perhaps uh Roads. Right. I mustn't let I the name I escape me. You. No, no, no. Oh, the the, the, the bad bold Bobby Baker Bobby, or whatever the bleeding Bobby Baker. Bloody the bloody boy, the bloody boy, Bobby Baker boy. Yes. Did you catch the names of those deputies? One was a uh, senior deputy uh, Clementine, I believe. Clem, yeah, Clementine. And the Clementine. other one, oh, crud. Gentleman who I was speaking no to. No clue. Yeah. I think if it's if it's to the senior deputy, it'll that'll be good enough. Yes. Oh. All this hubbub, and I haven't even been able to continue my training. It's horrible. Terrible oh, I'm luck. So sorry, you keeps getting keeps getting robbed and yeah. accosted. Good. Double check which direction we're going in. Yes, please consult your map. Roads first, if oh, you yeah. like. No, I am going the right way. I'm going the right way. Yes. I always do that. I go the right way, and then I doubt myself. Well, you and started going, going, going the wrong way, but way then after yes. going. Yeah. Well, not that I know. I I can hardly see a thing, so it's hardly my place to correct you. All I know is that you're yes, taking sir. the bumpiest way possible. Sorry, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll get cushions in St. Denis, sir. I reckon that might be a good idea. Just a reminder, wear, right? roads. Just a reminder where we're going, roads. boy. Roads is on the way to St. Denis. I can't yes, see very I much, but I can direction. just tell that the air is getting a little crisper. And it's roads yet again. Oh, no. This may take us a while. Well, what now? Now, no, no. Now we ought to go to. Let's go to Valentine now, since we we've we've got to write this telegram. We simply must. Yes, That's sir. The utmost importance. To Valentine. Those deputies need to know who they're looking for. Are you sure you're going the right way? Are you sure? Um, it's just a sense. I sense we're de. We're going <laughs> down. Turn. That's all. You throwed me off. You throwed me off. <laughs> Why don't you? Uh, here's it. Here's an idea. Yes, that's it. I, I I have a premonition, Jasper. Thank you, sir. You're so I, wise I have a premonition and, to my oh, no. to hard left, hard left now, hard left, the hardest let left me, you've ever let done. Let me get to the turn. Let me get to the turn. <laughs> if I take this off road too much, it ruins the wheels. Far greater things to worry about than ruining the wheels, Jasper. You're concussed. You hardly know your cardinal directions anymore. Ah, there it is. So the sure. elevation. But you know, they you used feel to it tell in my ears when they pop. Uh, what? They used to tell us as children that to tell your left from your right, you put up your fingers, right? And whichever one is the Thank L you, is Hannah. the left one. But I never really learned my capital letters until very late in life. 
Because that never really helped oh, me. Jasper, wouldn't it be best if, since we want to tele send a telegram, that the first place we go in Valentine's ought to be the telegram station? I have to follow the roads, okay? The roads are the rules. <laughs> are you sure you're following the roads, Jasper? Are it's you sort of a road. Are you sure? Okay, well... It's kind of a road. Right. We're just going to ignore the roads for a moment, actually. And the telegram station, Jasper. Yes, yes, we're going, we're going. Are you sure you're going to the telegram station, Jasper? Good God. In your a very long your mind is, that way, yes. Your mind is broken, sir. Oh, me. Poor thing. I think a lack of oxygen to my brain is affecting my sense of direction. Oh, perhaps I've overdone it with the cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> we merely took the scenic route, Mr. Krim. We got here, right? Yes. The, the, scenic, is right ahead. the scenic route to Rhodes is by way of Valentine. Good God. Absolutely. Well, yes. Hello. Are you Hello. Sure? Yes, Hello. boy, write the telegram. Okay. Hello. Hello, yes. Hello. Uh, can can we have... Can, can we have... Don't we listen have. to him. He doesn't speak English. How are you today, um, sir? Can uh, hello, have? sir. I'm Dr. Xavier Crew. I'm, I, I, I must confess, I've done. Um, I've been better. Than we have. Oh, we no, you like cannot have. have. What hat we take? Oh, what do you don't mean? listen to we him. Take. He's, don't take listen what? to the fella on the horse. Take. We take. What's going on? I don't Nothing have my spectacles. I don't. Uh, what do you? It's what? all good, we, sir. Are we, you okay? We, no, well, I've had earlier. I've had my spectacles spectacles taken. Okay. Well, hopefully you find them. You have a wonderful we, we day now. Uh, well, yes, you too. Hmm? We okay, take wagon. So long. In, in, All right. In, well, what a enjoy asinine walk. conversation. Yes, enjoy thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Please. Good riddance. Good God. Ha <sighs> <laughs> We just exist to be robbed. All right, partner. Hmm? Uh, I say, you all right? Oh, yes. I'm waiting for my assistant to be done writing a telegram. I see. Well, I just was making sure she was uh, sort of just down at the ground, you know. Uh, yes, well, horseless. Uh, earlier today, my spectacles were stolen from me, but... Uh, Never matter, my boy, my boy assistant, he's rented that wagon over there. The, which uh, wagon are you speaking of? What do you mean, which wagon? The, 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 well, there's a... He went and parked the wagon just, just right there in the... in the little intersection of the road, right here on the grassy patch. Oh. Give me a moment. I see a green wagon over there. Is no, no, it was it's red and white. What do you mean? <gasps> uh, Jasper, we've been robbed again. Doctor, we've been robbed again, Jasper. Oh, no, what did they take? Where's the wagon? I believe they took the wagon. They took the wagon. Oh. Yes, I do believe I saw a few folks flying through a wagon at speed in the other direction to the west. In what direction? Oh my God, Where's the west? The west. dirty yeah. boys. Oh, I should have. Oh, I knew I recognized them. They were the dirty boys? It was the dirty boys. Oh. oh. I'll go to Are you I'll sure? To How? When will this endless torment end? God, oh, what a day. Might, you might want some, some new spectacles. Well, that's precisely the idea, but the foolish Jasper took us to Valentine's instead of Rose, as I asked. He's been concussed, the poor boy. Trying well, to keep him away with... Certainly, there is an optometrist over in uh, San Me. Yes, yes, it's the only optometrist which I trust for my prescription. Sorry, Dr. Grimm, do you need <laughs> to ride the roads? Oh, oh, Connor, is that you? It is. I just need to send a very 
quick telegram, and I was going to send one to you, just stating that I was going to try and get back to Blackwater. Oh, but, yes, um, please. Maybe, yes, you must help now. me. You must Absolutely. You must get us to St. Denis, because I don't trust the boy. He's been concussed. I'm keeping him away with modest amounts of cocaine on his gums there. But I think he's... Mm. Well, he's he's not taking to it. He's looking at his bloody marbles. Okay, um, I will get a wagon. I can get us all to St. Denis. Oh, uh, you, you're a saint. Send, uh, something really quickly. You're a saint, Connor. Sir, if you have thoughts of aiming a weapon at me and brandishing violence and demanding things in return, you will mark the third person to have done it in but an hour. So I highly suggest against it. I would never say anything of the sort. Good. Do I look like the sort of person who would do such a thing? I cannot tell. I'm... I can hardly see a thing without my spectacles. My apologies. Uh, ja <laughs> Jasper, you're oh, off God. duty. You're no longer to you're no longer to drive us anywhere. It's Connor who's going to be the driving man. You'll sit there and read the bloody headlines and stay stay, stay awake. But that's it, okay? That's yes. it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, How, sir. You took us. I said roads. If you would, if you'd listen to me, we would have had the wagon. Confound it! Blast! Zooms! Egads! Yes, sir. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I just I automatically went to Valentine. You know, it's my mm. home, my home base. That's all right, Jasper. I apologize for my f foul and aggressive language. Jasper, help me get on this blasted wagon. Yes, sir. This way, sir. This way. Right this way. Here you go. And upsy daisies. <clears throat> Jasper. Yes. Will you lighten the mood by finding? A whimsical headline in that newspaper of yours. Of course, sir. Yes, Mi sir. Mr. Connor, would you like to hear the boy read? He's getting um, very good. Uh, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Silence patrol. Hush fell over the crowd as an unspeakable crime happened in Blackwater. A blast from a bank broke the silence as a gang of six tiptoed past the tellers and into the vaults to make a discreet patrol before the, uh, the Saints Crossy Sheriff Department could hear about them. As they began to slip away into the night, a faint rumble of hoofs could be heard approaching town. They drew their weapons expecting law. It was just another gang looking to rob the bank themselves. Ah, Isn't what misfortune! <laughs> ah, yes, they've all got the same idea. Hmm? Stealing my spectacles and robbing the same blasted bank. Ha 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 ha, the fools! Did, did one of them have uh, poor eyesight? Why, why were they going for the, the glasses? I suspect they see a helpless senior citizen who's bespectacled in such a way as I, and they think, well, that'll be easy pickings. Why, it was just last week that that, um, well, I know her name now to be Violet, but whom I call Harpy, stole my glasses. It's a weekly occurrence, Mr. Connor. Um, if, yep, that's, um, I've, I've heard there's been some issues with, uh, that individual, and I believe they are, uh, banned from, uh, medical offices moving forward. Hmm. Well, let's have another headline, boy, and and make it a little yes, bit sir. more pleasant. Uh, um, um. Pick a, pick something with some levity for crying out loud. Yes, yes. Where fashion blooms and hats flourish. Mm. Discover timeless elegance of blooms and bonnets. Saint Denis finest hat and flower shop, run by Beatrice Sinclair. Our quaint establishment offers exquisite hats and delicate blooms, each crafted with care and curated for the discerning individual. Step into our world of traditional charm and let us elevate your style with our unparalleled selection and impeccable service. With their floral finesse and millinery magic, you'll be a showstopper for sure. Contact B Sinclair ME677 for more information. So if you want to just uh, come right over here. Um, ah. Normally we have a this um, way, sir. optometrist that uh, will uh, usually keep some late hours here. It's so funny. I loved it. Jasper's got newspapers, so he's always he can like just sit and read and keep us up to date with events because we always like to take the carriage. It's so fun. Well, let's try. Hmm. Uh, oh. no, yes. <clears throat> no, in Valentine. They were just in town. They just, they just took our wagon. Just took it. Let's see. Those Is letters there at the end. What happens? Mm, J-R-K-L. 
The lower ones? Mm. B, Q, uh, S. Well, I was just sending a telegram. B, and then W. In both instances, we were just sending telegrams. And we Those got numbers lost. are three, zero, nine, six, four. Well then, sir, you've done it. Yeah. Not entirely my style, but... Yes, I can pay you. Well, you know, I'm a doctor myself. I'll take into account when you need some suturing. Well, I'm, I'm glad that they are, uh, hopefully, will we'll serve you well, and hopefully these don't get, um, there's no more accostings or um, glasses, hostage taking, or, or anything like that. Yes. Would you believe that after all this uh, criminal activity that we've had to bear witness to, that I haven't had a single moment to join you or any other medics in my training? How have you found um, the training going so far? Um, from, from your side of things. That's nothing that I'm not up to the task for. Uh, everything I believe I've handled with the plum. However, I think if you view my file, Dr. Bellatrix has gone over a few um, transgressions in her eyes on my part. Mm. Apparently my bedside manner is not all what it can be cracked up to be. Would you agree, boy? Am I, am I that terribly precocious? No, sir. Yes, it's always nice to me, even if you have a rough mannerism, you know? It's it's about what's on the inside, not not how you are on the outside. Yes, you, yes. You, you always, even if you say something mean, you always apologise. Mm. And, and and you, you All right, that's enough. sometimes. That's enough. Oh. Yes, sir, sorry, sir. So yeah. I, I pulled out a bone saw, a simple blood draw. You never know, things can go awry. You want to be prepared. I won't. Well, I'll keep them in the yeah. satchel. Yes, I think that that in particular would, would be a good move moving forward. Mm. Um, and then just had two other uh, <laughs> things I was kind of hoping to pass along. One, just more probably the rationale behind uh, Dr. Trix's uh, concerns. Um, when you're in New York, you're working in a major hospital. Uh, people know, are coming to you for their opinion. You give them your opinion and your treatment. And if they don't like it, they can go across the street somewhere else. But here in the crossing... They don't have anywhere else, and if they get turned away, um, if they have a negative experience, if they don't trust our, the Department of Health, there's there's no safety net, and and these people are uh, lost, and they can they can die. So we, we do our best to, as frustrating as it can be, um, do a lot of handholding here um, when it's necessary, and that can be really helpful for making sure that these people are, are getting the proper treatment moving forward and making sure that their, their health is being uh, under good stewardship. Yes, yes, Dr. Connor. Mm -hmm. Yep. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so that doesn't necessarily have to be to anyone else in the department, um, though we do appreciate team building, but yes, yes, that, yes. That, perfect. I okay. understand. I won't, I'll be a, I'll be a, I'll be a kind, kind old man. Doesn't have to be, you know, all the time, but mm. when working with patients that might be a little on edge, it yes. can be helpful. Yeah. Um, there, there. Thank you. The other element I wanted to bring up and um, <laughs> has to do with some elements I've heard a little bit about um, research avenues. And if you'd like, we could discuss this in, in private or uh, if you're comfortable with uh, Jasper. Oh, Ernie, no, no, or, no, or no. Jasper, okay. Jasper must not, must, must not know. No. Okay. Yes, sir. I can sit outside if you like. Yes. I um, don't necessarily Hi, have to sit outside. Um, there's actually a, a chair right in the hallway where you can you can go. Oh, okay, you're you're gone. I understood. Um, I believe I I heard the word xenomorph mentioned. <laughs> well, it's a working theory. Is that that's Greek? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> really? You want to stop some, this? Some reading. Um, and there are people that have done uh, animal to human um, blood transfusions mm. in the past. And mm. are you. I, the most recent that I'm aware of was in um, 1875. Are you familiar with any of that research? I'm. I'm it was, um, I believe, it done in Vienna, so not local to New York. Wow. Well, I've read some. Uh, very fascinating papers, but uh, well, the conclusions were that it was unfavorable for the trans for the patient. 
Yep, by unfavorable. Um, they're blood clotted and they, they died. Yes, well, um, if, not everyone possesses the death technique required for such a procedure. Um, this had been previously tried, um, but no one had really done it for about 200 years. In the 1600s, uh, it had also been attempted, and there was one common conclusion with the majority of that research. Um, no, Nobody lived, to the best of my knowledge. Well, I'm, I wouldn't expect them to. Just taking animal blood and shoving it directly within the vein of a, of a functioning man or woman? Oh no, you must, you must augment it. You must coax it in some way. I Encourage see. it to be more cooperative. Um, I, I think from, from everything I've read, and I, I believe there are some concerns on that front, the crossing <laughs> doesn't necessarily have the modern technology available to allow that type of cutting edge research to reasonably work with any degree of probability of success. Hmm. Yes, it does seem unlikely. So I, if it's, if that is your uh, purview and your, the, the main thing that you'd like to focus on, I, I'm not sure uh, from some talks that that would necessarily be compatible with employment with the Department of Health, given the record to date of what has happened with those types of transfusion. Yes. Yes. And Connor. Yes. I understand. So, I know that there will be ongoing discussions about mm -hmm. um, how the integration process slash quote unquote training is going. Um, but I, I do believe, um, given that I've heard several people talking about this, that, that that is a degree of concern. Yes, I understand. And I, I understand you're being um, amusingly condescending at this point. <laughs> and it is quite funny, but I do understand. I, I'm, I, I'm honestly, I, I just want to help. I think the people of the crossing here would really benefit from your skill set. I am concerned that that might not be compatible. Um, your, your research might not be compatible with um, what we are able to do. You mean to tell me that if I'm but to pursue my research that I will not be able to achieve this uh, a position here on the medical department? I think that it would be... I... Not... Why, you're no better than Bogbottom himself! Hmm. I apologize. Uh, the entire department! He's gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes. Uh, yes, no I, doubt. He's read, he's written letters. Hmm? Sent his research papers. No, this he's a fool! I... Okay. Did he include I, his theories? Hmm? On the bile? No, he did not. <sighs> oh, because I have I, To be honest, I've not read anything of his. No, you shouldn't. Don't okay. pollute your mind with such nonsense. I endeavor to not do that. Of all the things, of all the things to be... Nailed to the cross on, it's my pursuit to save lives, hmm? That is... To make man himself better than what he was. Would you have us all regress into knuckle-dragging buffoons, hmm? Would prefer to avoid that. Yes! Is the St. Shrothing Health Department in league with the bandits, hmm? No. You have fantastic knowledge, a fantastic skill set, and I want nothing more than to see you as a member of the department, but the department doesn't run the way things do in New York, and I just I wanted to talk to you about that before any other decisions may be made. Oh no, Dr. Connor, I assure you. Crossing runs exactly the same way as does New York City. Hmm. Nothing has changed. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I won't be around much longer. I'm in the sunset of my life. My youth is far behind me. There's not much time left to pursue this research. I'll strike a bargain with you. I will agree 
to stave off my fervor for such a thing. And, should the passion to reignite my research be unbearable, I will do you and the rest of the department the common courtesy to let you know that I will begin in earnest and then submit thereafter my resignation. That's uh, quite noble of you. And I understand wanting to see your life's work through, but we really don't have a safe way of being able to perform that. The augmentations you would be interested in performing to the blood to make it potentially viable. Do you agree to my proposition? Um, I'm not necessarily in a position to... You're not, but certainly you're some kind of advocate for myself, considering there's all this whisperings behind my back. I wouldn't say whisperings, um, but uh, I I absolutely will ensure that that is your um, offer is passed along. Well, do you and think that I've, will suffice with the board? Hmm? I certainly hope so. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, push for them to uh, take that into account. I will do everything I can. I think I'll take my name off the roster for being trained today. I've lost the will. Mr. Krug. Long is your conversation over? Yes, it is. Oh, dear. Thank you, Mr. Connor. We'll be on foot from here. Um, if you need the wagon, um, you're, you're welcome to continue to use it. No. Oh. If you trust... Um, no, thank you, sir. Jasper's driving. Understood. I'll take Can my I horse. Get somewhere else? Or I don't no, know. thank you, sir. Understood. Have a good evening. What's the point, Jasper? I don't know, sir. If I have any sense, I should remain here in this rain and speed on death for him to come to me with pneumonia and all such other things. I don't know what you mean, sir. Why would you say such horrible things? Well, were I to believe all everything that the eyes of the Saints Crossing Health Department sees, I am but a monster and should be put, I should be euthanized. Sir, that's, that's a bit far, isn't it? Mm. It's the truth, boy. Progress. Progress is meant to be halted at every at every c- corner and turn. Unless you're ordained. Oh. I wasn't born with that luck. Oh, I just fight tooth and nail for everything I've got. In here at the moment of victory, at the eleventh hour. Yet again. I boshed. So what did they say, sir? That you can't experiment? You can't learn? There should be no experimentation. Not if I'm to fulfill this requirement or to f- fulfill the duties of a, of a doctor here. Good morning to you. Yes, good morning. Oh no. Yeah, oh, that's. Sure, Surely, what? Sir. Oh, sorry. Surely, sir. If there's something you could do, you know, maybe with time they'd be able to accommodate for you. No, oh, boy! Time! Oh. I'm 62 oh. years old. That's not much time oh, left. Sir. If I'm to be a doctor here, well then. My life's work will never be realized. That's not even up to me anyhow. I meant to strike a bargain with Connor. We'll see, was his response. We'll see. Imagine the youth of today so talking to their elders such a way. Doctor? What? Are they not gonna let you be a doctor? Jasper, we're not listening. We'll I, I see. I'm so sorry, Mr. Crew. Well, if the verdict is no, if I'm to be denied, I won't lie to you, boy. I'll be heartbroken. Mr. Crew, 
Mm. You mustn't let them. You mustn't let them stop you from your dream. I mean, you spoke with it such fervently. Well, you know, I hear that there's. I mean, there's doctors out there that aren't. Well, certified. Yes. They deny me that. Jasper, they will rule the day. Doesn't matter. All my skill, all my knowledge, thrown out the window, simply because I have a pursuit and a goal for something greater than hewing up the latest gunshot wound. They might as well play call Saints Crossing the land of lack of aspiration. Salt and pepper for me and for you. Salt and pepper been given a stern talking to. Salt and pepper. Put it in your bum. Salt and pepper. Looks like Park Bottom's finally won. Oh my gosh. That was the most beautiful song I've ever heard. So heartbreaking. So... So wallowy. Yes, well... One tends to... reach new depths of sadness when one has to assassinate one's own child. And it could be all for naught, anyway. You I, have a child? I thought you was asexual. Uh, my research, you foolish boy. Oh, sorry, sir. Yes, sir. How am I to fund such things, if I'm not a doctor? Oh, there. There'll be no more research, boy. It's done. Rock bottom finally won. Suppose it's for the best. Perhaps mankind isn't ready for eternal life. Up a lip, though, right? Sure, boy. Sure. Salt and pepper, better than a bit. Salt and pepper, stiff up a lip. Salt and pepper, might as well get peppy. Salt and pepper, smile and just be happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Oh, everything, everything. It's, o it's okay. No, oh, it's everything, okay. my dear, it's all gone. <laughs> anyway, no, well, it, it is will okay. Be, it will be but days before I'm on the ground before you begging for your three dollars. <laughs>